I is a negative times a negative, a positive. So for instance, you've probably had some problems like this back in the day. So maybe, maybe the number 2 times 3. Well, we know 2 times 3 is 6. Um, or maybe, and then 2 times, let's say it's negative 3. Well, 2 times negative 3, and I'll put a little parentheses in there, 2 times negative 3, that would be negative 6. And maybe you just had these memorized. Or what about negative 2 times 3? Well, that's also negative 6. And then the everybody's favorite 2 times negative 3, which would be positive 6. And you're going, why well, that doesn't make any sense. But your teacher told you to memorize it anyway. <laughs> and so if you're one of those kids that asked why, hopefully this video will explain that. And I'll give you some concrete examples. So the first thing you need to know about a negative is that it is just a change in direction. So a positive 5 means we're probably going to bounce to the right 5. So if here's my number line, here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's a positive 5. A negative 5 would be that I bounce to the left 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's negative 5. So it's just a direction. So let's see, that, let's take that a step further and uh, let's talk about it. So here we have a video of me walking, and that's the wrong one. I'll do this one first. So here's a video of me walking forward. I'll go back to the beginning and I'll hit play. And so this is me walking in a positive direction at about two steps per second. So we could say that's two, and me, meaning two steps per second. So that's positive, that's a positive two. Now, we can easily then multiply that by another two. So here's me walking forward at two steps per second, and then the fast forward button is a multiple. So there I've doubled my speed. So I'm walking four steps per second when I hit that. So that's a positive times a positive. So two times two is four. Okay, you can also rewind it. So I'm hitting play, walking forward, and now I'll hit, I'll apply a negative value. So that's a negative two. So there I'm walking at negative four steps per second. So I'm walking backwards. And notice the result is a negative. So a positive two, so here's my positive 2 times a negative 2 is me walking backwards at 4 steps per second. So that is what we have to start with. So let's recap that. So I was walking at 2 steps per second in a positive direction. And then I took that times 2 by fast forwarding it. Multi the frame rate was twice as fast and ended up walking forwards at four steps per second. And I also did the rewind button. So I was walking at a positive two steps per second. Then I rewinded at a negative two steps per second and the video showed I was walking backwards four steps per second. Let's see that again. Um, if you look on this video, so here, we, here I am walking forwards. And let's go ahead and multiply it by a negative. Whoa, there was a negative 60. So there was me walking forwards. I'll try to tap it a little slower this time. Okay, I'm going to stop the video. So I'm going to multi, multi, I'm going to hit the negative multiple. And we'll do it twice. So that's, whoops, 60 again. It won't let me do it just twice. It makes me hold it in. But anyway, you could imagine me multiplying it four times if I hit this twice. So there's two, there's 10 for just a split second there. So that would have shown me walking backwards really fast. So that's a good way to show uh, when positive. Now let's look at the negative side. So look at, let's look at the one that's a little more difficult to watch or to think about. So here is me, if you hit play, I'm walking in a negative direction at two steps per second approximately. It's probably quite a bit less than that, but close enough to 2. So that's my negative direction. I'm walking negative 2. Okay, so I'll go about halfway there. And let's apply a positive 2. So it's, I'm walking negative 2, and I want to fast forward now. 
So negative 2, so there I'm walking backwards, and I fast forward it, I'm just walking backwards faster at a negative 4 steps per second. So my direction is still negative. So a negative 2, let me stop that, see if I can write on this thing. So a negative 2, because I'm walking backwards 2 steps per second, times uh, 2 is negative 4. So when I fast forwarded it, this is fast forward, that's applying a positive times 2, or going in the positive direction, it's still walking backwards, but I'm walking backwards at 4 steps per second. All right? So let's think about this in terms of um, a rewind. Okay, so there I'm walking backwards. I hit play. This is just me walking backwards at 2 steps per second. And so let's go ahead and hit rewind and see the result. So there it is. Notice when I hit rewind, I am walking forward. I appear to be walking forward. So two negatives equals a positive. So what's happening, just to, to think of it in terms of math, so I'm walking backwards at two steps per second. Then I multiply it by rewinding the video. A rewind is a negative. Times, so we've got negative 2 direction times a negative 2 direction equals a positive 4 in my speed. So I'm, it appears that I'm walking forward 4 steps per second. So let's take a look at that again. So walking backwards, walking backwards, 2 steps per second. Then I apply a negative 2 and I'm walking forward. So the result of a negative times a negative is a positive. And there you have it. Hopefully that makes sense, and I'll see you next time.